Hi, this is Russ McClay, and I'm going to answer your question about how to use a height map in Mandible 3D. Height maps are um, long been used in 3D programs. Basically, they um, an image with the various shades of gray of an image can uh, be interpreted as uh, elevations and also color images will be uh, a lot of my maps are in color in my map uh, library but they're interpreted also as grayscale <coughs> so to uh, to uh, get started here I'm going to use the basic formula that I get always get started with I mean I do some stuff with amazing surf and a few other things but basic all I use is uh, amazing IFS and so this is also a good tutorial on how to um, get started on creating those so this is uh, Mandelbulb 3D opened in default view and I'm going to uh, in the formula one slot I'm going to put amazing IFS and the standard routine here that somebody found uh, maybe Bat George or somebody uh, a long time ago is by setting these basic values um, you can get something cool going now for the second slot I'm going to put uh, height map now it doesn't really matter at least to my experience whether the height map goes in the first or in the second slot and there we go the most important thing to note is the map number and that will correspond to the maps that you have told uh, Mandible 3D to use. And you can see here, if we click on the, the initial directories here, <coughs> these will be where um, you tell Mandible 3D to find things. So if we look through here, what do we see here? Maps. You can see that this value here is where I'm keeping my maps. So. No matter where you keep your maps, as long as you have it set in here to be that same directory, then you're good to go. Now, let's just take a preview of what we have here. Okay, so that map, incidentally, I'm going to bring up what that really looks like. Um, map 10 is actually a color image, and that's what it looks like. For some reason, Mandelbulb 3D uh, uses the number 10 as a default. And you can create um, I say create, you can store as many maps as you want, and they all have numbers. These maps can be used for other things other than height maps, which is why I have uh, both grayscale and uh, color images. Now, let's ha uh, have some fun. We're going to open up the navigator here, and um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to increase the, uh, the iterations. Kind of move the camera around here a little bit. That classic room view. And uh, you'll notice that it is, the surface is, is taking up that uh, height map, number 10. So now I'm going to go to the height map here. And here you can select, and you can also click here to type in a number. And, uh, you know, you can just kind of scroll through some of your height maps. And you know, it's really some of the changes that can be affected by um, particular height maps can be very dramatic. Um, so that's it. That's how you use a height map. And I hope that helps.